Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another ink exploration and this time I will be doing teals and turquoises. That kind of blurry line between, is it blue, is it green? I'll be going through what I have in terms of ink samples and ink bottles. Let's get started. So in doing my ink swatches today, I will have my Hobonichi A6 notebook where I am creating my a little ink journal here and then this glass dip pen from Moon Man that I got off Amazon I will leave in the description below and then this is one of the paint brushes from the Martini set from Stationery Pal and I will leave a link to that in the description below as well and you can use code Karina for 12% off your order so let's get started the first ink I'm going to do here today is from Robert Oster and it is Robert Oster Tranquilly. So I'm going to get some on my paintbrush here and do a swatch. And then I'm going to let my paintbrush rest for a little bit while I put some on my glass dip pen. And already I'm loving how this tealy turquoisey look, this, it just looks gorgeous. And I think I'm slightly biased because when I was younger, my favorite color used to be blue and now my favorite color is green and teal, a tur turquoise, gosh, I can't talk, is the best of both worlds. And just look at that, like, sorry for all the shaking of my camera here, but look at how this ink shades. And then once it dries, it actually has a bit of red sheen around the edges. It is actually super, super gorgeous. I love it. Then the next one that I'm going to be doing, the next three I'm going to be doing actually are from Pilot. The first one is Sio Ro, and this one is an interesting one. There's two in Pilot that are very, very similar. And comparing this to Tranquility, you can see this is a little bluer. This, there's more hints of blue in Sio Ro than there is in Tranquility. And there's so much on my glass dip pen right now, so I don't know if this is the best representation of what it would be like in a regular pen. But just the ink swatch itself, you can see how it would look if it was in a really dry pen versus a really, really wet pen and, you know, fine versus broad or a medium. I'm going to put another layer right on top of that so you can see what the shading looks like. And the shading on this is incredible, but similar to Tranquility, it's actually got a little bit of red sheen as well along not just the edges, but on top of that second layer as well. You, you're not going to see it now, but as this video goes on and as you see it dry, you're going to start seeing more of that red sheen. And then the next pilot one is so similar to Seal Row, but I couldn't see myself buying a bottle of it because I felt like it was so similar. This is Pilot Oroshizuku Kujiku. And seeing the two compared to each other, it's funny actually because I said Seal Row was more blue than Tranquility, and I feel like Kujiku is sim more similar to Tranquility than Seal Row is. It's so funny how teals can do this, but now that Seal Row and Kujiku are next to each other, you can see how they're different, but you can also see how similar they are. So I for me personally, I don't know whether I would buy a bottle of Seal Row. I, I love Kujiku and I love it in a pen. I think I would just stick with one, just for the minimalist me. And then the last Pilot Oroshizuku ink. This one is a funny one because uh, compared to other blues, it looks more teal or turquoisey. But on this page, obviously it looks more blue. This is Pilot Oroshizuku Sukio. And what I find similar between all of the four inks that are currently on this page, they all have a little bit of red sheen. When it dries, especially in that second coat, you're going to see some red sheen around the edges. You can already see a little bit in Seal Row and some in Robert Oster Tranquility, but it's definitely prevalent in Sukio. Already, I'm just like, how many more teals and turquoises do I need? at least four more. There's four more that are going on the next page. And I love this color and I could see myself definitely using this in winter, but also different shades of it you can use in springtime as well. So this next one is a bit lighter than the rest of them. This is Sailor Ink Studio 264 and it's probably the lightest or least pigmented out of all of the teal turquoisey inks. And what I love about Sailor inks is that once you put that second layer, that shading is so prevalent, so prominent. 
and this is one that I just have a sample of but I really feel like I need to use this sooner rather than later. I think definitely in a broader, more wet pen, it's going to be darker, but then if you have a really dry pen, you're gonna see it just be that lighter shade of that teal, but it does look more green than any of the other ones do. This next one, actually the next three are all from Diamine. This next one is Diamine Aurora Borealis, and I bought this, this is one of the first ink samples that I purchased a little less than a year ago. And I purchased this because I just love the name. And it's teal or turquoise, it's beautiful. Are you guys very specific or very strict about whether it's teal or tur turquoise? I am using the terms pretty interchangeably in this video, um, but I don't know, are you guys really strict about the teal or turquoise? Again, sorry for the camera shaking. What I love about the Aurora Borealis though, again, there's gonna be a little bit of red sheen uh, on top of that second layer. I find this one more similar to Robert Oster Tranquility and slightly darker than that. It's a little muddier, if I can call it that. The next one in the Diamine line is a Diamine Steel Blue. And I didn't think this would be in the teal family because it says Steel Blue, but when I put that paint swatch down it actually looks more green than aurora borealis so it makes me think why then is the name why is the name steel blue i don't know but when you look at it dry this one doesn't actually have too much of a sheen not so much like sukio or Sioro or even tranquility there's like tiny tiny little bit of sheen in here it's not known for its sheen but the color in this looks more green than Aurora Borealis. It just confuses me that the name says Steel Blue. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I, I, if there's blue in the name, you would want it to be more blue, right? I don't know. And then the last one here is a shimmer ink. So I'm gonna have to grab the bottle here and I'm, have, I'm going to shake it quite a bit on camera. I left this one for last because I did not want a whole bunch of shimmer particles in the, uh, on the paintbrush or in my water. So one of the key things with shimmer inks is that you really have to shake it to get all of the shimmer particles spread out throughout the bottle. And then once you actually have it open, you've got to either fill up your pen or dip your brush or your glass dip pen pretty quickly. And this one I think is the darkest of them all. It actually looks more blue on camera, but this is Diamine Enchanted Ocean and it has shimmer sparkles in it as well as a gorgeous red sheen. Now I know there is one from Jay Herbon or Jacques Herbon and it is Emerald of Chavor. I don't have that one and I know how similar that is, but I love this one too. Out of all of these ones, which one is your favorite? So there are all the teal turquoise inks that I currently have in my collection. Which one is your favorite? I love that with teals and turquoise, you can never really tell whether it's teal or turquoise, if it's leaning more blue or green, but again with fountain pen inks this is what i love about them is that there's so much complexity in just one color all right but that is it for me thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you like this video please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day